This is Rick Sparber here, and I'm going to demonstrate the second iteration of my bolt cutter for a horizontal bandsaw. The first iteration, uh, which was shown in a previous video, uh, could only handle quarter 20. This design is more universal. It can handle anything from a half inch down to, well, I've done six, number six, but I think it can, number eight but I think it can do six uh, and it does metric in English uh, and furthermore uh, the the depth of cut is set from the head not the end of the bolt so I'll show you how it works I've got this bolt here and let's say that I want to duplicate this bolt I lay it in channel and the fixture's got two pieces it's got this outrigger support and then it has this sliding part and I slide this in until the end of the bolt lines up with the cut and the bottom of the block is flush here so okay now no measurements, I'm just using this one bolt as a, a guide. And I'm going to do it on the saw because it's easier. Because that way I'm just moving one thing at a time. So now I've got the space between the saw cut and the outside here is set by the length of this bolt. Next thing I do, as with the first fixture, is I drop the, the blade down in the slot. Now when I tighten up the jaws here, notice that these plates are squeezed and they tighten down on this block which supports the slotted block. So now it's set. And uh, here's another bolt of the same, well that's, I'm sorry, there's the bolt that I set the length with. Let's start with Here's another bolt that's the same thread size, uh, but is too long. And notice back on the back side here, there's a piece of hacksaw blade that's been beveled on the top to a 60 degree included angle to match the uh, cross section of the thread. I'm going to take my saw, this moved a little bit. <laughs> Okay, take my saw, and now I've got two bolts, I've got the second bolt that's matched to the first. Next, let me take a quarter 20 bolt. This time I'm going to put it in loose, so you can see that it spins like the other design. And it's also the same length now. And then finally, here's a 5 16 And I'm going to just throw that in there. And you see that it's the same length as all the other bolts. So, and the scrap just comes out. And you saw on that last one that the head did rotate as it locked in. So this design overcomes some limitations of the previous one in that uh, the distance from the underside of the head to the cut is what's now regulating it. And I can handle a wide variety of bolt sizes. Uh, I don't have anything that's long below a number six, but uh, I think I can go a lot smaller. So I'll be uh, putting plans up on the web. Thought I'd get this video out uh, as soon as possible. So, hope you enjoyed it.